Okay, so uh, welcome back here in uh, today's pro project. What we're going to be dealing is we're going to prep, prime, and paint this barn here. Um, and as you can see here, there's a bunch of spots where it's pe where it's peeling away from 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 the surface here. And you can see that the that the original stain was like a red stain, and it looks like they went over it with a uh, with a latex paint of uh, some sort. And it looks to be a satin sheen here, and you can see that it didn't stick well. Um, again, this side of the barn is the uh, west side, so it definitely it'll, it'll gets the sunlight in the, in the latter part of the day here. And you can see all of the uh, vertical cracking that is going on here. Um, if you follow my f finger down low here, you, you can re really see the, these gaps here. Okay, and uh, what what happens to uh, to make this worse is when it rains or snows, whatever, the water gets inside of these gaps here, and it just causes fur further de damage to the uh, to the wood. Um, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think that this is the uh, T111 pl plywood tongue and groove siding here. Um, but as you can see, it's a uh, it's a uh, weather it's a uh, weathered out a lot, and it's just basically falling right off the surface here. Okay, and uh, and if we look at the trim here, the trim is uh, this doesn't look that that bad here. This looks like uh, this was re replaced re here, and this is a replace. But if you look up at the rake boards there, the uh, white trim paint is just coming right off of that. So, which leads me to assume that that the trim boards were uh, came pre pre primed, and they just um, paint painted over it like once or twice. So it all needs to be to be pressure washed or power washed, and then sand sand it down, um, and then we'll come over here. Uh, this door casing and you can see how how, how bad that this is here uh, there's just a, a little bit of the paint it just comes right off with with my finger here um, so I can definitely tell that that a primer was not used in the first place and, and folks this, this is what you're gonna get if you just try to apply a top coat paint right on top of a surface that wasn't prepped the uh, right way or a you know, primer was not used here so again this is the uh, west side here and this really gets a lot of light from noon on to like the, the later part of the day here um, and over here you you can really see this is called alligator cracking and it looks like uh, the skin of, of, of like an alligator here um, so these cracks are, uh, bad cause, cause, uh, once again, they let in the, uh, water, um, from like whenever it rains or snows and the water just gets inside there and starts to swell things up and it continuously ju just gets worse here. Um, so now we're going to come over here to my pressure washer. Now, whenever you, uh, pressure wash, you definitely want to use a good one here. You don't want to use a uh, electric one so this is a gas pop powered and it's made by subaru uh and it's called the work three three thousand pro and it's a three thousand psi okay so and uh this is the gun right 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 here and before i forget is before you start to sing up you definitely want to pull or to pull the uh, trigger to let loose the uh, pressure. Now, whenever I, uh, pre I uh, pressure wash, I usually use uh, two tips. We're gonna start with, with the green tip here, and it's a, it's a 25 de degree angle there. And if I'm not ha happy with this, or if it's not really get it, getting the job done, then I'll, then I'll switch up to the yellow tip, which is a 15 de 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 degree angle. So it's going to apply a lot more pressure to a uh, to a smaller point here. So we're going to start this up here. 
quickly click, click that on, and I'm going to press the uh, gun here. Okay. Put the choke on here. And when you start this off, you just want to let the, uh, the pressure start to uh, build, uh, build up here. Okay. And that went off again. Start this up here. And I'm going to choke here. Now, it's uh, very important to, uh, to always just have a continuous wipe. You don't want to uh, keep this in the same spot, because then you'll do a lot of uh, damage to like, the wood here. So I'm just going to continue to go in.
some fights about that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the tip here. Pull that off there. And uh, when you put this on, make sure that it snaps in place, because if you don't, then the tip will just fly off here. Okay, so you can really see how the uh, how the yellow tip it, it's a more of like a finer point, and, it, and it's able to remove a lot more of the uh, of the grease or, or uh, dirt from the concrete there. So you can see the uh, di the uh, difference here to there, and with the uh, trim here, you can see that the the that the uh, paint just came right off. And just by like the uh, by like the looks of this, it uh, looks like. There was like the uh, mill glaze that was on the wood in the first place. And um, that comes from the factory. And you really want to get rid of that because it's, 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 like uh, it's like a mill glaze. And, and anytime you, you try to paint on the top of it, the paint will, will, uh, will just come off. So you definitely want to get rid of that. And the way to get rid of it is to, is to pressure wash it or just like, like or leave it out in the sun so that the uh, sun's rays will deteriorate that um, and then just give it a, a, a light sand here so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around to the uh, north side and we're going to pressure wash that next so we'll, we'll see you in a few okay so we're back here uh, and one more thing whenever you uh, try to pressure wash a house or a barn like we're doing here make sure that you cover your eyes you don't know what is going to come up or ricochet all, all the siding here. Uh, again, this is a, a 3,000 p, 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 PSI, and it's a lot about pressure, so, so uh, protect your eyes here. So again, this is the north side, and then this side do, doesn't really get a lot of light here. And as you can see, we have a lot of the cracking, and the cracks are uh, vertical. They go with, with the grain, and you can see the uh, red from the previous stain, because this barn was red before, and it looks like someone just put a top coat right on top of it without priming the surface. So what you're seeing is the paint is a is a failing, and it's pe and it's peeling back, and it's just not going to last. Okay, so what we're going to do is clean the surface here. Up here, there's just a bunch of uh, spoil of uh, spider webs or co or cobwebs. And the pressure washer is great to uh, remove that kind of stuff. If not, you have to use a brush and you want to do that. So it's always best to use a gas powered pressure wa washer to clean the surface of any flaking paint or, pe or a peeling paint here. Um, so we're, we're going to start on the left hand corner and slowly work our way down to, to, to the right side. And at the end, I'll have to I'll tell you about something that we have to avoid on that corner of the uh, barn here. So uh, I'm going to start this up here. And I'm going to start right over here in the corner. So I'm going to turn the tip so it's like that. So you can see, you can see the, uh, the angle of it. And if I turn the tip like this, 
then you're going to get that angle, and we don't want that angle, so I'm going to turn it like, like that. Okay, so we're starting to When I'm doing this, I'm probably overlapping probably like a third or 50 per, uh, per cent here, and I'm making sure to get into all the grooves here, okay? Okay, now lastly we'll come down to to the foundation and you see there's a bunch of like peat moss mold or mildew that's growing onto the surface of the foundation here so uh once again i'll i'll i'll, I'll uh i'll uh, turn this right here and again this is the green tip it's a 25 to, 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 to degree angle and we'll just start with that and if i'm not too happy with it then i'll switch over to the uh, yellow one So you see the uh, peat moss is uh, still there, so I'll uh, switch out the, this tip to uh, the yellow one. And the uh, yellow one is a, a finer tip, it's 1.5. So I'll uh, make sure that the tip is uh, secure, and then we'll come back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, continue just to uh, do that. You can see what a difference the uh, tip makes in it. Um, so we're just going to let this uh, dry dry out, and then we'll, we'll be back tomorrow to start the sand and uh, prime. So we'll see you on the uh, next one.